Hey guys, uh, it's me again. Uh, I have this stat checker pulled up. Uh, it's a project I've been working on for a little while. And uh, in some of my other videos, I had showed uh, uh, kind of what you can do, how you can lay out a page with uh, Flexbox. I'm a huge fan of Flexbox. And this page that I have here, uh, everything is done with uh, Flexbox. Um, all the layout and everything, you can see my body, the uh, body wrapper, which I have wrapping around the entire body, is, uh, is done with Flex. Uh, so everything aligned within it is flex. The thing I really like about flex is um, is that it just allows you not to have to do a whole lot. You don't have to think about a whole lot. It kind of does a lot of the hard work for you, um, and I, I really like that. A lot of people like other things. I'm a huge fan of Flexbox, so that's, that's kind of my deal. Um, I wanted to show you one other thing that you can do with Flexbox that I didn't talk about in my other videos. My other videos mainly deal with alignment and um, also... Um, uh, uh, layout page layout, which that's kind of the nuts and the bolts, the, the kind of the big picture of Flexbox. Um, I want to talk about one way that you can really apply the uh, Flex Grow and Flex Shrink uh, in uh, in Flexbox. Um, you know, because there's I, I I can't really think of a lot of applications for this other than well, I mean th there are a lot of applications for it. I take that back, but this is one that you would run into a lot that would be a good way to handle this. Um, here I've created this uh, uh, this these buttons down here and normally I don't have the green background on it. I was just kind of doing it for this exercise. Um, you know, normally uh, it would look like this because that looks a lot prettier but I just wanted to show this is mainly just for uh, showing you how the uh, flex property works. Um, so so here I've got these three things and these three kind of links and in my um, in my uh, uh, mustache file you can see if you click on these it takes you to a page where you can enter in an activity for a specific category um, and so that's pretty cool so these are basically links they have a little mouse over effect nothing crazy but if you have buttons if you have a nav bar if you have anything a really quick and simple way that you can make a mouse over effect is with flex basis uh, and flex grow and so I'm going to show you how to do that really quick um, so right now we have this link, and, and all these are wrapped in this, uh, this tag here. So if we go back here, you can see this activity type that it's pulling from the mustache file is wrapped in um, a, a, a link tag. And so if we go back over here, I've got two states for it. I've got just the regular state and then the hover state in my CSS. And not a lot changes, just, just increasing the size of the font inside it. Which is great, and that's a fine way to do it. But a lot of times, you can kind of do that a lot easier with um, with Flexbox. And so, what we'll do to make a mouse over effect in Flexbox is we'll do this. We'll start off by in the regular state uh, defining the flex basis, and we'll do something like twenty five pixels. Uh, so flex grow, flex shrink, and flex basis are all linked together. The way that they relate to each other is uh, flex grow and flex shrink grow or shrink based off of what you define the flex basis. So right now we're saying that the default size for all of these is 25 pixels. And we could increase that and um, we could say 50. And you can see it's making all of them a little bit bigger. So it's basically saying that these buttons, these links here, uh, the basis, the, the default size for that is going to be 50 pixels. So I'm going to change it back to 25 because that's what I'm going to do. Um, so now we define in our hover state, this is how it's going to change. And we're going to define the flex grow here. And we're going to say, uh, let's start off with zero. Everything has a default state. And the default state for flex grow is zero. And so right now we're saying the flex basis for this size is 25 pixels. And the flex grow is zero. The default state for flex grow is zero. So when we do that, when we refresh it, it's not going to change anything. Because it's basically saying flex basis, 25 pixels, flex grow, don't change anything. So if we change this to 1, and flex grow is based on just a numerical value. So it's not like 20%, 50%, like you might be used to with some other things. It's just a, a numerical, numerical value. So it's basically saying this container here um, that you can see here, it's saying when we mouse over it, 
Um, and in this state here, the, the default is 25 pixels, but whatever we mouse over, whatever we're, we're actively on, make that take up more space than the other items, right? So it's pretty cool. So let's see how that works. Um, let's save this and then we'll refresh. And you can see it does exactly what we would hope so. It, uh, it takes uh, whatever we've moused over and it increases the size of up that to fill up the rest of the space. Now let's just see here real quick. Um, let's add some more items to our database. So we've got exercise, work, leisure, we'll do hobbies. Um, we'll do um, swimming, workouts. Um, and let's go ahead and mouse over these and you can see it's just whatever available space is left, it's just gonna take up the rest of that space. Which is really cool because a lot of times um, flex, like I said, it does do the heavy lifting for you. So you might have a mouse over effect that changes the very specific width or height of something, but if you have a lot of items, whatever you've defined it as is going to take up too much space or too little space, and you have to go back and adjust that. But flex just says, whatever's left over, we'll just adjust it to make it work. And that's really cool because it doesn't, you don't have to do a whole lot with it. You just set it and it figures it out for you. So let's go ahead and add even some, you know, some more items here. Uh, we'll add, um, you know, uh, horseback riding and eating and um, water polo. And you can see it's, it's still whatever space we have left over, it's just adding that in. And then over here, we have a lot more space. So it's taken up the entire space um, instead. So here, there's not a lot of space left over when we mouse over it. But over here, there's a whole lot of space. If we add some more, and it's doing this because this is on a flex wrap. So when, so just flex is saying, you know, right here, if there's too many items on this side, we'll, mount, we'll add it over to the other side. And that's kind of cool because when it mouses over here, you can see that it's really neat. It's saying horseback riding now, it's, it's increased the size of that. And so now there's not enough room for all the items on that column, so it's shifting it over to this column. So Flex just figures all that out for you. Really not a lot you have to do with it at that point. You can imagine if we were doing this with, you know, just margins and sizes and increasing everything that way, then when we got down to here and there's not enough space, it would really make things look funky. But um, Flex grow and Flex doing your mouse overs in that way and some of that functionality is a great way to make your page look good without having to, to, to adjust a whole lot. If we had some more items over here, uh, I like bananas, um, apples, I'm just running out of things to think about. And, and, and you can see, you know, still over here on this column, it's, it's just figuring it all out for you. It's doing all the work. And, you know, when we get down here, it pushes it over the next item over to the next column. So really cool how Flex Basis and Flex Grow uh, work that way. And, and you can actually increase uh, this number here too. So if we want to increase it to two, um, you know, it, it makes it take up a little bit more space. So, you know, um, Flex is a really great tool to use uh, in your tool belt for, for things like this. And there's a lot of other applications uh, to, to use for Flex. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. Uh, like I said, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out.